What's up guys, Bearhams here with the top 5 best and worst new MLS kits this season. Before the countdown, I will preface this video with a critique of MLS kits in general. Honestly, I wanted to go through the entire league's jersey catalog, but most of these kits are so bland, there's no point dissecting all the nuances of each kit like this color represents this, and this pattern can only be seen with an electron microscope. I felt top 5 and bottom 5 was the most appropriate from this list because there are surely some fantastic kits made by Adidas this year, but also I need to further elaborate on many issues with MLS kits in general. First we'll start out with the worst and at number 5 it's Seattle's Jimi Hendrix jersey. I only put this at the 5th spot and not higher because the jersey is its own template and there is some creativity but the colors just don't mesh well in my opinion and the Hendrix inspired angle only acts as an excuse for the kit as opposed to the jersey's intent. Besides, Jimi Hendrix hated the area, though I do hope in the future they continue this trend by celebrating their city's cultural history. In the fourth spot, we have the Columbus Away jersey. Similar to the Seattle jersey, the design is unique, but come on, that should be yellow. The template without colors looks like tank treads in snow and doesn't hold a candle to some of the best kits from their 26 year history. Taking the third spot would be Colorado's 14ers Away jersey. One of my biggest critiques of Adidas MLS kits are the stupid patterns. In theory, I understand adding seasoning to give the kit more flavor, but it's useless when it's the only flavor, and this perfectly explains Colorado's kit. I was kinda excited that they were gonna pull from their old unis, but this is of the LaCroix variety. The flavor has been distilled out of the jersey, and it's extremely bland. In second place, I picked New England Revolution's Away kit, and oh boy is it bad. The light blue black is incredibly silly, has one's on one side, one's on the other. If you want to go black and white, then just go black and white. Crazy to think with primary colors of red, white, and blue that they wouldn't be a little more daring and not to slap on just a terrible pattern. I don't get what their pattern is going for. But anyway, this would have been the number one based on its blandness, but my goodness, number one is something else. As Montreal's home jersey takes the cake as the worst kit from this rotation. To me, this looks like a Minnesota United jersey bought from Wish. They're not even copying the best jerseys, which makes it even worse, and it doesn't help that their new logo and identity is absolutely atrocious and showcases every terrible thing about the MLS and its kits. It's bland, it's half-assed, and it's offensive. It looks like all the MLS just logos and jerseys had an orgy, and all their fluids got mixed together and created this monstrosity. It's also their home jersey. And you can somewhat understand the bland jerseys from other teams, but my god, there might be more bland jerseys from this year, but this direction is the complete opposite of where I want the MLS to go in the future. Phew! I'm glad we're all done with that. Now let's talk about my top 5 favorite new kits for the 2021 season. But before that though, I would be doing a disservice to not critique the Minnesota United's River kit. I'm a Minnesota United fan, so don't worry, I won't take too long. I think the new kit is better than their drift kit, and I like how it pays homage to the NASL days, but for me, it's like a B-. minus. The river pattern is not visible enough to make an impact, but overall, it ain't bad. It's a slight improvement, but they could have done more. They could have added another wing kit, but again, it's okay. Plus, it looks like the Parley kit I got a couple years back, so that's 150 bucks I don't need to spend. With that little sidebar out of the way, let's crack on with the top five kits, and we start in the Pacific Northwest with Portland Timbers, who have not had a bad home kit in years, and their streak continues with this absolute dime of a drip. I like the threading down the middle, holding both shades of green together, and the green to gold ratio is perfect, as the secondary color accents the green quite well. For number four, I think Chicago Fire's away kit deserves some recognition. While their new badge and home kit are forgettable, this kit does the texture bit right with the six-sided star pattern throughout the kit. It's nice how perfectly visible the design is with the blue paired with the white. Please Adidas designers, use this kit as inspiration for the future. Taking the bronze medal is a team that is not used to winning, but they're gonna look spiffy this season, especially when moving into their new home. Yes, I'm talking about FC Cincinnati's home jersey. They better start winning more next year because they don't deserve to look this good. The two-tone blue with orange on this kit is a huge improvement on their 25 kits from last year. While I hope they return to the hoop look back in their USL days, this look is, dare I say, even better. The second best jersey from this collection is a throwback done right. Unlike the Colorado Rapids, LA Galaxy's away jersey, in my opinion, should be their home kit, is perfection. 
The green, black with gold accents is a look I didn't know I missed, but now I realize I did. I really did. This is a throwback done right as I said, and I hope to see more of these types of kits from Adidas in the future. I also hope the Galaxy sign a big name soon. I mean, probably not like a Messi or Ronaldo, but someone to wear this iconic kit. Honestly, if they did sign someone like that, I'd consider buying this kit. And that's saying a lot, since I am not an LA Galaxy fan. Finally, taking the checkered flag in this list is a statement I hope other MLS teams hear and implement with future kits, and that's Philadelphia's Lightning Kit. This is what happens when you listen to fans and let designers have fun with a concept. This jersey looks cutting edge with its new unique pattern, and also a classic with some hints of Arsenal's legendary yellow kit. Not all jerseys need to be this intense, but it's nice when the press release actually enriches the jersey and its fan base. I am sincerely happy for the Sons of Ben with this gobsmackingly good kit, and again, hope this energy transmits its way into the league's apparel. That'll do it for today's video. Comment below your thoughts on the list as well as the entire collection. I'm interested to hear what you guys think of it. I will be making more MLS-based content in the future, and if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at BearHamsGaming. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. This has been BearHams, and as always, toodaloo.